Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here, it's great to have you. So today I wanted to do a spotlight on one certain designer item and that designer item is the Burberry scarf. So the reason I've decided to do this is because I've done quite a lot of videos on the Gucci belt and I see a Burberry scarf as something like a Gucci belt. It's an affordable price point if you are looking at designer items, it's a great kind of entrance into the designer markets but also it is just an absolute classic forever piece in your wardrobe and just like a Gucci belt I feel like it's something that everyone asks about, everyone wants, everyone has so many questions and I have had this for years so I felt it was a perfect time to sit down, talk to you and tell you everything there is to know about a Burberry scarf, the honest truths about it, should you get one, is it worth the money, maybe you're saving up for Christmas or maybe you're saving up for, I don't know, next year, it's just hopefully this video will give you some insight. So first things first, I got my Burberry scarf when I was 21. I got it for my 21st birthday, so that means I have now had it for almost four years. And honestly, the condition is still immaculate. There is honestly not a thing wrong with the scarf. And someone commented on my video the other day and she said, have you heard of 30 wears? I hadn't. I did some research and this it's this idea that only buy something if you are going to wear it 30 times or more, which I think is a great idea. Okay, I have probably worn this scarf at least 100 times per year because it's so cold in the UK and sometimes I'll travel to even colder countries like Canada and I have to say the quality is just amazing. I did leave it on a train once and I had to run after it and get it. Worst moment ever, nearly had heart failure. Um, but you'd expect that it would have needed dry cleaning, it hasn't even needed dry cleaning. It's just perfect. Luckily I haven't actually spilled anything down it. So I was given this as a gift and it came in the most amazing like box that I still actually have somewhere in my bedroom. Does anyone else do that and not throw designer boxes away and it's kind of like a cylinder and the scarf comes wrapped in it. I just love Burberry packaging and Burberry branding and I know that if you order from the website you can get free gift wrapping as well. I'll link everything that I'm mentioning underneath this video. Um, for me it's all about the classic check. Obviously Burberry have brought out so many different types of scarves now and I'm sometimes tempted, I walk in and I'm like, oh, that's nice. But I just think the classic check, there's a reason it's the classic one. And I know that a lot of people do like dupes of the Burberry scarf and I know that a lot of people copy the pattern. But for me, I just think this is an absolute classic. So I'm going to tell you why this is apparently the best scarf and what kind of sets it apart from everything else, except for the fact that obviously it is Burberry. So, the website says that this is a classic cashmere scarf, which could explain why the quality is so good. And it's made in a 200 year old mill in the Scottish countryside. Nice, I like it when things are made in the UK. My boyfriend owns a fashion brand that's actually designed and manufactured in the UK, so I know quite a lot about the background of making things. In the UK, we originally went to China, we didn't like the conditions, he then paid like triple the price to get something manufactured in the UK in an amazing factory, and the quality and the level of Difference. It's like craftsmanship, which is why they tend to charge what they do for things like Burberry. So I feel happy knowing that this is made in a nice Scottish mill. And then something I didn't know, no one told me this, the Burberry scarf is made using 30 different steps. So this is like craftsmanship and it's woven on traditional looms. And I think that's really cool. It's quite nice to know the reason that it's expensive because as much as I like designer, obviously a lot of things, they just whack Burberry on it or they whack Gucci on it and then they add a big price point. I am a consumer's dream and I'm like, oh my god, it says Burberry, it's got a big double G, I'm going to buy it. So I'm also that level, but at the same time, it's nice to know that this has been lovingly made and it's beautiful. The other thing that I think is really special and very random and over the top about this scarf is the fact that the fabric is washed in local spring water. I mean, very random, but I actually think that's really nice. And the way that they get this super soft finish is by brushing it with teasels. So that's a little bit of background on it. So you can also get it with like a thinner check, but I personally really like a thick check. You can get it with like um, love hearts and stuff on it for more of a seasonal print. So yeah, you could go wild and collect all the different ones in all the different colors. But like I say, this is my favorite one. So something I am asked all the time about the Burberry scarf is, can you get it on sale? Can you get it on Vista Village? Does the Burberry scarf get reduced? I have only seen the traditional Czech Burberry scarf reduced once in my life, so this exact scarf, and that was on Netta Porter, they had 15% off, and actually their last 15% off they did, no Burberry was included. So what I'm gonna do is, if you're watching this in November time, it will be Black Friday, I will link my blog post below with all of my top Black Friday buys, because I always like sit and research the best buys. Last year, from memory, I do think that this was in the Netta Porter 15% off, and it sold out within hours, because you can't get 15% off Burberry, like, it's not really a thing. 
for Burberry scarves anyway. I have a Burberry trench coat and a gorgeous Burberry um, button up coat that I actually got from a designer outlet. They were still like a thousand pounds each, but you can get the coats reduced, but you can never get like the traditional check. I guess it's just because it's like their best selling piece. But if you go to say Bista Village or a designer outlet, I know that in the Burberry stores, you can get their different checks. So it's more kind of like their scarves that have different patterns on and they're like big bold colors. I actually quite like the navy blue one for men. So it's more like, yeah, they're bright blue ones and they're ones with love hearts on that tend to go in sale. So if you are after something like that, then you probably can get it on an outlet. I'll have a little hunt and link some below if I can find any online. But for me, it's just the colors of this. I think it goes with everything. It's so easy to wear. When I first got the scarf, as I say, we have been in a relationship now for nearly four years. I would wear it just with all black and I felt so cool in it, like literally just all black and then a nude scarf. But now I play around a bit and I wear it with my Burberry trench or I wear it with my camel coloured coat and I think actually it's proof. So like all of the colours that are in the scarf goes out saying it goes really well with all of them and it's a very complimentary scarf. It's just one of those things that when you wear it, it instantly transforms an outfit to like utter class and I just think it's perfect. Another thing, it's super, super warm. Honestly, it's the warmest scarf ever. I am the coldest person. I always moan about being cold and I always, I feel the cold a lot. I don't know if you guys are the same, but yeah, I'm always cold and honestly, this just keeps me so warm and I think that's because it's a cashmere. So it's it's the quality of it that's just amazing. Another thing I'm asked quite a lot is about cleaning the scarf and you are meant to dry clean it but as I say I actually haven't ever had to dry clean it which is kind of crazy but there's literally no marks on it. It's it's perfect. It's still absolutely perfect and I really am not the best person at looking after things um, but I just store it by putting it on um, a coat hanger and then just pop it in my wardrobe like that and then obviously you can iron it to make it I mean this probably needs a little bit of an iron but I find that it drops it's really nice because it's actually really thick if you look at it like the it's actually quite wide is what I was meaning and I like that I feel like it just gives it a really nice chunky effect without it being you know, I don't really like scarves that are too thin. So I really hope you guys liked this video and found it useful. If you have any more questions about the Burberry scarf, leave them below. I would love to answer your questions and maybe help you out. Another thing that's great, I would actually say this is a unisex scarf. There's definitely no way that this is just for girls or just for guys. My boyfriend has worn this, I have worn it. So just buy one. Buy one, get one free. You can share it with your other half. Share it with your mum, share it with whoever. Um, but yeah, and I hope you enjoyed the styling as well, how I styled it. As I say, it's just so versatile and everything that I mentioned will be linked under this video. And if you want to shop the scarf, that will be linked below too. Come say hi on Instagram and Twitter at mshellax. Big love, thank you for watching.